Hey guys, Dr. Bryce coming here with another fantastic chemistry video and today we're going to learn all about the identification of elements. Now what's an element? There's a whole table devoted to them. These are the base building blocks of all matter. Gold, silver, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen. These are elements. And what do elements have? They have atoms. And atoms are made of protons, neutrons, electrons. Now, we're going to learn all about converting to moles. What's a mole? Whoa! We've got to figure that out in today's video. Should have watched the pre-lab video too, you might know already. Now, we're going to use molar mass. It's, you're going to look at different elements and say, oh wow, that's kind of cool, right? You're going to see what they look like in their basic state and what they're used for, guys. It's going to be epic, I promise you. So without any more wasting time, let's get after it, let's get it done. All right, class, we're going to do part one of experiment five, identification of elements based on emission of light. All right, class, now we're going to be doing part two of experiment five, identification of elements based on molar mass. We'll be doing two unknowns, unknown number eight and unknown number four. All right, now you need to write this down. Unknown number four has that many moles of, of atoms present in this matter. Unknown number eight has that many moles of atoms present in this matter. So you're going to have to write those down in your data sheet. Once we know that, we simply have to get the mass of unknown 8 and unknown 4. How are we going to do that? We're just going to use a digital balance. Now I'm going to put the weighing boat in there. I'm going to re-zero the balance so we don't damage the tray. Protect it as best we can. We don't care about the mass of the boat. Okay, here we go. Here is the mass of unknown number eight. And here is the mass of unknown number four. Make sure you record this in your data sheet to the correct number of significant figures and then try to determine which atom you have in each one of these unknowns. All right, and that's all there is for part two. See you in part three. All right, class, here we are in experiment five, part three, identification of elements based on physical properties. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass in front of the camera 10 different elements, kind of an assortment of metals, non-metals, and metalloids, You'll have to figure out what each one is. It's not that hard, really, because it's written right here. Transition metal for this one, see? And this is zinc. Here's the atomic symbol. It's atomic mass units, and it's atomic number, and some of the ways it occurs in our nature and in our society. So what I really want you to focus on is this thing right here. What's the physical appearance of a metal? So write some stuff down about the physical appearance of the metal in your data sheet. And now I'm just going to pass under, uh, for your review, some different elements. They're all kind of in the same style. They all have in the same kind of box. Uh, the, the element is in the top left-hand corner, and the atomic symbol is in the top right-hand corner.
All right, class, this is experiment five, part three. Here are some unknown elements. Now, what we're going to do is just kind of observe them, take a look at them, and see if we can figure out if they're a metal, a non-metal, or a metalloid. So here's unknown one. You know, as you can see, oops, there you go. They're like little ball bearings. Let me see if I can just put these ones open. They're little ball bearings. They have a luster, they have a shine, they're gray, you know, blah, blah, blah. Write those kind of physical properties down in your book. They're definitely pretty hard. And there is unknown one. See if you can figure out that as a metal, a non-metal, or a metalloid. Unknown number two is a yellow powder. It's kind of flaky. Maybe you can't catch it on the camera. Maybe you can. I don't know. It's kind of a flaky yellow powder. See if you can figure out is that a metal, a non-metal, or a metalloid. You don't have to identify the element, although some of you probably can. Um, just metal, non-metal, or a metalloid. That's all you have to do. And here's unknown three. It's kind of hard to see on the camera. But it's a powder. It's a blackish powder. There you go. And is it a metal, a non-metal, or a metalloid? Keep in mind, it, you may have already, you know, you may have repeats. You may have two metals, you may have two metalloids, you may have two non-metals. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys? That's all there is to do for part three.